Hey, fellas and female fellas and all of you guys, how's it going? Dustpox back here playing some more Pixelmon for you today. So, I talked a little bit in the last episode about what we we're going to be doing today. What are you? Ooh, we should fight him eventually, but I don't think we're strong enough just yet. Not just yet, I do say. Anyway, I talked a little bit in the last episode about what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making that fossil machine stuff. I've got all the recipes, well, what I hope are the correct recipes, all written out here on this little piece of paper I got right beside me, but we got a couple things we need to make first. Uh, let's see, we need... That'll be three... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six. Perfect. So we need some water buckets here. So let's do that. And uno mas. And we're going to go and fill these all up with water. Let's see, I don't have an infinite water supply that I've made out here yet, but there is water all around. Oh, hello. There is water all around us, so we don't have a specific one, but uh, we can just pick it out from any place that we choose. So this, uh, the what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be making the fossil cloning machine, and we're also going to be making the fossil cleaner. Two separate machines, but the fossil actual, the actual fossil machine has three components to it, I believe. So we're going to have to make all three of those, and that's what we're going to start out making today. Uh, let's see. The first thing we're going to need to make is the tank. Then we have a top, bottom, and a display. So I think these water buckets are for the tank. That makes sense, because, you know, it's, it looks... Once you guys see it, it'll make sense, because it actually looks like a tank. Um, let's see, we need... Actually, we only needed three water buckets. I am a dork. We needed six glass panes, not... All right, whatever. Um, we made some extra water buckets just for the heck of it. I'll just say that. All right, so first, let's go grab those glass panes. I know I've got at least six of them in here. Very nice. Uh, we're going to need redstone, take some iron just in case, and let's head on up and see what we can do with this magic. Alright, uh, don't have a crafting table up here yet. Let's place one down. I know I've got one right here. Let's place him... let's put it right here for now. So first thing we need to do is take three water buckets, place them like so. That's the water, and then glass panes down the side. There we go! So this, this was correct. This is the fossil machine tank. The next thing we need to craft is the top. So, we take a piece of redstone, place it right there, and we take these aluminum plates that I took the time to craft, like that. What? That's not right. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's keep going, and I'll have to figure that one out. So this next part is the display. So we take a piece of obsidian and redstone all around it. There we go, the display's right. Aluminum plate, hmm. I wonder what the top is, then. Anyway, the bottom of the machine tank, let's see, wait. Okay, it's, the bottom is just like this. Yep, there we, well, that is the machine base. So let's actually move that out of there. We'll go like this, and we'll actually start putting it together the way it's supposed to look. And then we need the top, and I wonder if the top is like this. No. The top says it's like that. I'm gonna flip that around. Hmm. Ha 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 ha. Guys, I'm gonna quickly go check that. I'll be right back. Well, I'm a dork. I was building it down here. I just said you have to, be, it's very, it's sensitive to where it is. So you can't just do this down a block. It has to be up here. So there's the top of that. All right, now to put this whole thing together, I think it's like this, like this, and like this. And you put this guy here, and you've got yourself a fossil machine. Yeah, buddy! Man, this is, this is, this is going a little bit better than I was expecting it to do. Anyway, the next thing we need to do is take a piece of redstone right here, here, and a piece of glass right there. Now, this is the, mach the fossil cleaner that we're making right now. Oops, hello. Yeah, there we go, the fossil cleaner. Now that is a whole separate machine that is going to clean the fossils up for us. Now we've got to figure out the way that we want this to look. See, I was thinking, put the fossil machine right here. Yeah. And then the cleaner could go right here, maybe? I don't know, I don't like that. Let's, okay, if we break this... Okay, cool, it stays. So we can move this around all we want. Um, let's put the machine there, and the cleaner there. I don't know. 
I'm actually not liking that. I want I want the machine to be like a centerpiece. I can't break that or else it'll uh it'll be gone forever. This cleaning machine's not too terrible of a looking thing either. Maybe we should put that Oh, I know where we're gonna do this. We're gonna put it down here. We've got this other balcony here. Put that there. That's the machine. And then we'll put the fossil cleaner. Get rid of you. Let's put him We'll put him right here. That looks cool. Too bad we don't have any fossils to actually do this with yet. A little upsetting, but, you know, whatever. Um, sweet. So I think for the rest of this episode, let's go Let's go train up some of our Pokemon. We, we need to get uh, Vibrava. We need everybody. Charizard's the only guy that's actually doing good right now. So let's go to the PC. Let's go back upstairs, I should say. We'll go back to the PC, and we'll rearrange our party a little bit. That way, if we run into a wild Pokemon that wants to fight us, we can do things to it to make him suffer. Let's see, let's uh, rearrange this. So let's put Vibrava as our first party Pokemon. That's all that we really needed to do. Also, before we do that, I wanna just move this guy upstairs. I know they should probably go together, but I feel like there, there still needs to be something up here to complete this area. And maybe we could put a tank over here and then build another one just for over there. Maybe, 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 maybe. But for now, let's go train up some of these Pokesamounds. Also, I brought some of these apricorns over so we could start a small farm, just for now. Because we don't really have anything over here yet. Let's see, what does Vibrava have in terms of moves? He's got Faint Attack, Sand Tomb, Sand Attack, and Dragon Breath. So nothing super, super powerful yet. Um, that should change when he evolves at level 45, I do believe. What level is he now? 38? Yeah. If you guys can hear that, that is my dog Rody in the backyard freaking out over absolutely zero everything. He he just goes out there and he barks at everything. It's so annoying. All right, Hitmonlee, we're gonna take you on, boy. Wya! Go, Vibrava. So faint attack. I think Dark is strong against fighting. No, it's not. That's right. Fighting is strong against Dark. So let's do Sand Tomb on this guy because I think that it'll be a little bit better. Did that Was that not effective, or did it just miss? I missed it. Oh, well, Dragon Breath will work. Fight Dragon Breath on your face, baby. And this is like the first time... Oh, wait, I was getting ready to say it was the first time that we actually, you know, did a recipe in this, um, this mod where everything went according to plan, but it didn't because I screwed it up because I'm a dork. All right, for now, let's just start a small, small, small apricorn farm, just maybe nine of them here. Three... One, two, whoops, nope. Come here, you. Just like that. That'll be that for now. And uh, we'll we'll eventually make a specifically designated area for it. But this area does not seem too good for training. I mean, we've got these fighting types here, but most of my Pokemon are normal. Or, well, I guess they're... What, what is Needle Queen? Poisoning Ground... Nido King is ground and poison too, isn't he? You can't plant these on soil. You know what? I got a quick idea. Let's go. Let's go back up to where our old base was, and that'll be a good place to train because we can also find some Mareep and shear them up, so we can get some more wool for our house up there. Yeah. So how's it going, guys? <laughs> um, it's been good for me. I started work. Uh, working at Journeys. It's a shoe store. It's really fun. I enjoy it. And uh, the guys I work with are super cool too. And uh, you know, I, I don't I don't have any beef with any of them. And I feel like I'm gonna get along with everybody else that works there. I, I know a couple of the guys before I started working, and I'm meeting a bunch of the guys for the first time. And all in all, I've got to say I'm really really enjoying it. I'm happy that I'm not working at Six Flags again. Last year I drove the train at Six Flags, and that was just awful. That was that was probably one of the biggest mistakes I've made in my uh, work history life. It was just Oh man, Six Flags just drains your life sometimes, you know? But it's, uh, all in all, it was, it was a job, got me money to spend at school and all that sort of stuff, so I can't, I shouldn't really complain. Ooh, Golduck, let's fight you. Oh, eh, ah, whatever, faint attack. Do it, go, go, go! I forgot that I'm a ground type. I forgot. Oops. Alright, let's send out Nido King, because he's probably closer to the level that we need. Let's do horn attack. Jeez, we are getting pwned. 
<laughs> Double kick to ha is is broken. Let's try poison sting here. That was not effective whatsoever. <laughs> Don't kill me. Come on, get him, Nido King. Don't. Oh, you suck. All right. Uh, let's send out Nido Queen. All our Pokemon are going to die. This is just great. Uh, Fury swipes. Let's do this. That <laughs> didn't do nothing. Scratch. Maybe it'll do a little bit more. It's doing a little bit. I'm I'm seeing it move down just a tidbit. Why is my screen so shaky? I don't like it. But yeah, I've been selling shoes, and uh, it's 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 interesting. I, I I'm learning a lot about shoes that I didn't know. Like I'm learning how to uh, how to lace them up all cool like, and you know, just how much there is into running a shoe store is just so much. Golduck fainted, and we are going to level up like crazy. Chip away. Ooh, I like this one. Let's get rid of let's get rid of double kick because it's not working for us right now. Nice. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the screen like that. Nice chip away should be a good move for us to use on some other Pokemon. That's a normal type move? What was it? Yes, it is a normal type, but it's a strong normal type, so that's good. We've also got Dratini to level up too. Let's keep that in mind. Dratini is level 21. So let's actually see this Arbok here. What are you? Oh, I guess we're fighting it with Needle Queen. Go chip away. Stop being all stuck in places. Keep doing chip away on him. There we go. We're gonna take him out like nobody's business. Fire Fang? No, I no bad. That's a very bad Arbok. You can't touch me. Yes, there we go. Wild Arbok fainted. Twenty-five. We're getting up there. Where are you, Needle Queen? I saw you teleport back over here. You've been a very good Pokemon, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, Squirtle. I don't have any Pokeballs. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I was... Oh, that would have been a really good time. Oh, well, we at least know where to find Squirtles now. All right, let's try to fight this Electabuzz. Chip away again. Hopefully he only knows, like, some very bad type moves, like Leer. <laughs> Perfect. Abs... Oh, Thunder Punch. Had no effect. That's right, because I'm a ground poison type, baby. You got nothing on me, Electabuzz. You got nothing on me! Oh, baby. Time to level up yet again. 26. Man, our stats just keep going. Alright, get back in your Pokeball, Needle Queen. We got slaughtering to do. Oh, hello there, Scott. How are you? You see any other Electabuzz around here, buddy? That we can probably take on and just kill with a mighty furious vengeance? Furious is the word I was going for there. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh. Hey, Vulpix. You looking for a fight? I can oblige that, no problem. Too bad our chip away is probably gonna go down in PP. All right, um, <laughs> I really should start like mining for fossils now that we got those two machines. Caterpie! I'm also I'm I'm slowly beginning to think that I want my uh, my water type to be a Gyarados. Slowly going down that road. I know I said we wouldn't do that, but you know what? It's just so tempting, you know? Gyarados is huge, and he looks so cool in the mod, too. Like, he's one of, like, the feature-type Pokemon that, like, they, they love to show off in all of the mod pictures and everything. Like, what is that? Oh, that's a Zubat. It's always Gyarados. And, you know, I can't blame them. They did a great job. That is one freaking massive Abra. Holy crap. Do you see the size of this thing? I wish I had a ball to catch him, because that was incredible. I've never seen an, any Pokemon that big. But let's see, anything over here that we can fight. Let's try to fight a Sea King with our Dratini. Go, Dratini. There we go. And he's level 31, so we got to be careful. Dragon Rage. Supersonic Mist, baby. Don't you use Supersonic on me. Oh, you son of a gun. I hate Supersonic. It's seriously, like, such a broken thing in this mod. Like, uh, this is all that Seeking is going to use is Supersonic until he runs out of PP. And then I'm going to be, like, dead from hurting myself and flopping around on myself. <laughs> Come on, Jatini, you can do this. Aqua Ring. That's not... No, bad. Use Dragon Rage. <laughs> 
hurt itself in its confusion. Come on, I just want to hurt this guy. For Pete's sake. I might actually have to end this video after this fight because of this. Gosh dang. Stupid guy. Come on. Ah, Fury Swipes. Sea King's attack hit. Hurt itself in his... Of course! For Pete's sake, just land another Dragon Rage on him. There we go. One more should be able to do it. There we go. Oh. Oh, hello, Milk Tank. Did we only go up one level? We only went up one level from that battle, didn't we? That's... Why am I stuck in F5 mode? <laughs> okay, well... Hold on, guys. I've got a cool... Well, I guess we can't do that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Hopefully, by that time, I will have a fossil that we'll be able to use those new machines that we made on, which would be very awesome, because I am really looking forward to being able to use those machines. They, When you see how they work, they're really cool, which means I'm going to have to start making more Pokeballs, too. All right, guys. See you later.